one of the Fox affiliates had a chance to talk to one of the alternate jurors. That's a person that listened to the whole case. This was his thoughts um, when asked about it yesterday. I supported the verdict. I, I, I agree with it. But I think the one thing that, that, that stands out the most is, is the entries. To, to, to Mr. Zimmerman. And what's your reaction to all the protests, demonstrations, and talks of a civil rights complaint now? Yeah, you know, you know I, I, I just don't understand the civil rights complaint. I don't, I didn't see the evidence there that, that uh, in, 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 the, in the courtroom that would uh, make anybody believe there's a civil rights case for this. Uh, the protests, you know, the people are going to be angry no matter what the verdict was, um, and there's nothing we can do about that. What's incredible about that, Eric, is that he has to be uh, disguised because there's so much passion around this that even as a juror who listens to the trial, he, he didn't even, he wasn't even a decision maker. Right. But just to be talking about it, he has to be that, locked out. I, I got I to take issue with that. Not with you, with, with him putting himself in silhouette. He didn't even, he wasn't part of the decision. He listened right. to the trial. Why is he in silhouette? I, 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 look. He, but he did mimic what the, the jurors have said, that, that uh, unfortunately for the prosecution, they didn't make the case, uh, to, enough of a case to, to, to convict George Zimmerman. But, why is he, but by the way, great television, great interview, very um, interesting to hear the insight of what was going on in the, during the jury's uh, listening to the trial and deliberations and whatnot. But, uh, come on. Well, maybe one of the reasons is because I was, actually, I was interested in this. They, the, the court has not released the names of the jury, Andrea. Mm -hmm. Uh, included uh, five whites and one woman who appeared to be Hispanic uh, on the, uh, of that six. They haven't released the names, and so I guess if the alternate, maybe he doesn't want to reveal himself because he's p perhaps worried about his own personal safety. And that's his choice, and he should. I mean, look at what this case has become. There's going to be over 100 protests in the street. I don't blame him for disguising his identity. But again, you go back to this first juror who appeared with Anderson Cooper on CNN, and she said, look, we were split initially. There were some jurors that wanted to convict him of something, but when you looked at the strict interpretation of the law, and I know people don't like the law, and I know they don't like to look at the narrow, narrowly tailored laws and the scope, but that is what juries are charged to do. And we talked about this earlier. If you don't like Florida's laws, move. But if you're in a situation where you feel threatened, and Rachel Jontel, the one good thing that came out of that interview, she said, Trayvon, I think he threw the first punch. We got that from his friend. So if all those facts are true, and the jury looked at it within the letter of the law, they came up short. This feeling stuff, this feeling, these hypotheticals we talk about, maybe this would have happened if this would have happened. I'm sorry, it doesn't hold up in a court of law. And this one thing we should be thankful for is jury trials. That's what we should be thankful for. We have them. We have some sound from Jesse Jackson, who earlier had very strong words uh, and a description of Florida that I think some people might disagree with. And also Charles Barkley weighed in. Let's take a listen. We think that the Department of Justice does have an, an action that it should pursue. A, I think there'll be civil suits filed. No doubt the request to uh, the, in, the, in, the inclination to boycott Florida, to stop convention, so isolate Florida as a kind of apartheid state. I think uh, the prosecution tried to avoid the issue of race. There are three white male uh, prosecutors. The, an all-white jury without a black or a female, without, without a black or a, uh, a, a, a man on the jury. I think those cars were stacked in, 19, in 2013 as they were because of them in Matilda and Matt Gavis. It gives every white person and black person who's racist a platform to vent their ignorance. Right. You know, that's the thing that bothered me the most because I watched this trial closely and I watch all these people on television talking about it. A lot of these people have a hidden agenda. I got to say, the sound on that, <laughs> on that was amazing. Did they record that off, off a laptop in a men's room at a Greyhound bus station? With one of you, those um, iPhone <laughs> yes. covers you, you, that you, you see. You were very lucky to have that sound. I met <laughs> at 84 with Jesse Jackson 40 some times. Uh -huh. No human being ought to have to do that. <laughs> uh, I understand Jesse quite well. I understand Jesse. I, that was classic. What he was Jesse. saying is that Florida is an apartheid state. Well, I, you I know, mean, it's, that you got to understand Jackson. He, 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 <laughs> but, but can I take issue? Can I take issue with this black on black crime for a second? Sure. The overwhelming number of those things are gang violence related right. to drugs. No one's the kids like Trayvon Martin who are getting killed are kids who are being profiled and are not involved in gang violence. Um, but it's an anomaly, Bob. Can, can I, it's an anomaly. What does anomaly mean? It's, 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 I love you. It's, it's, it's unusual. It's unexpected. <laughs> can I make a little point? You, you think I'm crazy for this, but I think that, that, that um, juror, the alternate juror in silhouette, was racist. 
I think if you don't have the guts to put your face on TV, what are you, what are you afraid of? The black community is going to be Well, what if he's you? not you allowed? Even, you weren't even part of the, the decision. But what if he's not allowed by the court? Have more confidence in the black community. They're not going to come after you, pal. You didn't even, you weren't part of the but decision. But if the court, it won't, the court won't release the names, and maybe he's then not allowed. Then don't go on TV. Well, yeah. he, and he actually, TV. he says uh, initially when he's asked uh, about the reaction, he said he was surprised that so many people from the jury had decided to go out and talk so quickly. He said, don't we need some time to think this through and, and give it some time? And um, Jesse Jackson's comments, besides the, the ridiculous comment about it's an, being a, an apartheid state, Florida, did he essentially call the women jurors stupid? That was a pretty sexist comment, and you don't hear any response from women's rights groups saying, wait a minute, yeah. six women can't come to a fair decision? There needed to be a man there in order to get the truth to come out? Um, I just... I also don't think he has a lot of credibility because yesterday he called for the UN Human Rights Council, Syria, Libya, and uh, other countries Kazakhstan. to investigate this because you know they're very good with the human Congress. rights. He's got, he's got a lot of credibility countries. in the black community, and that's what yep. matters. This this trial is now over. We accept that, but it did raise a lot of fear and anger in the black community, and they want to vent it, and they're going to vent it, and they should vent it. Okay. Can I say something about there was a Time Magazine cover and it has this on it. It says like after, I think it says after Trayvon, we might have it. What I find interesting about this is that they're saying, you know, what happens to America after this? But it's really about the media. After Trayvon, what happens to the media after polluting this conflict with poisonous sensationalism? And they talk about repercussions of the verdict. What about repercussions of you? Well, um, anyway. Good. Yeah.